Welcome to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. The unhinged Mike Lindell seems to have gotten his company, MyPillow, in so much financial trouble after retailers cut ties following his crazy election claims that it's now having to auction off its equipment. Sold. Now, if you've been living under a rock shaped like pillow, let me catch you up to speed. Mike Lindell, the self-proclaimed MyPillow guy and election denier extraordinaire is back in the news, except this time, it turns out his company, MyPillow, is having a bit of a rough time. You know, the company that claims to give you the best sleep of your life while simultaneously assaulting you with endless infomercials? Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. Well, that commercial aged poorly. Oh, and don't worry, Mike Lindell's commercials only got more creepy as time went on. Looks like you're not sleeping well. Yeah, how did you know? And Megan! What? Hey! You're that guy! The My Pillow guy! Only Mike Lindell could come up with an idea to appear in someone's medicine cabinet like something out of a bootleg horror movie. And no matter how many of these commercials that Lindell has made, they have not helped him from losing business due to his wild conspiracies. You see, My Pillow recently lost so many retailers that they're planning to host a little auction to make up for their losses. The last time I heard a company auction off its equipment was Twitter when Elon Musk was trying to sell office supplies, including chairs, a pizza oven, and a neon bird sign. I mean, Elon was so desperate to boost the company's income that he tried to sell Twitter's office plants to staff. It's almost like Republicans are terrible at business. I mean, call me crazy, but I don't believe it's smart to platform Nazis, racists, rapists, and human traffickers. You know, like misogynist Andrew Tate. No wonder Twitter users are flocking to threads. Even Twitter employees enjoy threads over Twitter. Oh, and by the way, if you're there, feel free to say hello and follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. Anyway, Lindell's been losing retailers left and right. Walmart, Costco, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Slumberland Furniture, which... I had never even heard of until this very moment. All of these big box retailers have dropped ties with Lindell because he can't keep his conspiracy theories in his pillowcase. Maybe Lindell should have focused on making his pillows great again instead of making baseless claims about election fraud. According to Mike Lindell, it was a massive, massive cancellation. We lost $100 million from attacks by the box stores, the shopping networks, the shopping channels, all of them did cancel culture on us. It's not cancel culture, it's called not working with a lunatic. That's called Business 101. MyPillow recently listed more than 850 surplus equipment items on the online auction site KBID. Sewing machines, industrial fabric spreaders, forklifts, and even desks and chairs are up for auction. He's even selling trucks, which makes me think that this is going to be a permanent hit to Lindell. Not only that, but the company is now having to sublease some of its manufacturing space. Who knows? Maybe Lindell is using this auction to cushion the blow since plunging sales are not Lindell's only financial problem. At Mike Lindell's 2021 site, Symposium, he had a $5 million challenge for experts to examine his data with a prove Mike wrong contest, which he claimed proved that Donald Trump really won the 2020 election. There's a $5 million prize for anybody that can, that, that can prove the election data that, can, that I have from the 2020 election is false. Well, guess what? Someone proved Mike wrong. I mean, not that it was that difficult to do, considering the wild claims that Lindell was making. And after the winner demanded the prize money, Lindell refused to pay. Sure sounds like he's taking cues from his BFF Trump. Well, it is the reality. It is fake. It's the biggest scandal. Um, here I am on a family trip with my grandkids, and I'm attacked from all over the country. I, news reporters call me all day. Isn't it kind of strange this comes out the day after Fox settles with Dominion? This guy's not a cyber guy. I don't even know how he got in there with his credentials he has. He's an IT guy, a computer guy, but he's not a cyber guy. Not a cyber guy, but an IT guy. I'm sorry, what does Lindell think that IT stands for? Imaginary techies? Intergalactic thinkers? Internet troublemakers? Though I wouldn't be surprised if Lindell actually thinks IT is that creepy sewer clown from the Stephen King novel. Aren't you gonna say hello? Oh, come on, bucko. Don't you want a balloon? Regardless, the Prove Mike Wrong Challenge ended up going to court, and surprise, surprise, Mike Lindell lost. Let's just start off here, right? He puts this challenge out there. He says that it would have to be arbitrated, and you take it all the way to the finish line. What's your reaction today when you find out 
you've been awarded $5 million from Mike Lindell. Well, Aaron, thanks for having me. And I think it was uh, relief, not because uh, I, I doubted my own findings. The, in fact, I, I never expected to be able to show that it was bogus data because normally data analysis could take weeks or months and I had three days. But the data was so obviously fake that I spent a few hours before I could show it was fake. I always worried though, Mike Lindell has a lot of resources, a lot of money, and you never know. I, you know, I think the court system generally, justice is served, but not always. And so I was never sure if I was gonna be awarded the money. And more than the money, I really wanted the people, the public to know what was going on. Well, and, and that's what you've accomplished. I mean, amazing, you'd say you'd think it would take you, you know, it could take you months, took you hours, essentially. Um, right. that, that's, that's how difficult it was to debunk, to make the point. Um, Mike Lindell, you just heard, he told CNN that this will end up in court. Do you think you'll ever get the $5 million that Lindell has been ordered to pay you? Unfortunately, I don't think so. It would be nice, and I don't think it's because of court. I think if he does go to court, if he does appeal, I think it's going to be thrown out. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think he has a case against Dominion, or I should say Dominion has a great case against him. And uh, Dominion, of course, is asking for, I think, $1.2 billion. And I don't think Lindell has that. So I think uh, I I'm afraid he's going to be out of money before I ever see my $5 million. He actually makes a pretty good point here, because based on the way that my pillow is going, he may never see that $5 million. You'd think that if you're gonna offer a $5 million prize, you'd better know what you're talking about and not be full of fluff. But no matter how many times Lindell is proven wrong, he continues to stand by his debunked claims, insisting that machines were used to steal the election. And we're doing a class action. You know, actually, I'm announcing it here. I announced it on my program. You all watch frankspeech.com? <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> um, they, um, but, it's a class action lawsuit against all machines and that they're defective devices. What kind of machines are we talking about here? Vending machines? Pinball machines? Coin machines? We definitely need to go after those woke washing machines. I mean, the pillow man is so invested in his own delusion that he invested $40 million. I've spent over $40 million. Unbelievable. Hang on a second. He's spent over $40 million. $40 million I've spent in a... Uh, and uh, I need help. Well, you're right about that. You definitely need some help. What we're doing with Frank's speech within the next couple weeks, uh, could be for two to four weeks, we're offering a stock to the public. This is gonna be amazing. We're offering stock to the public. I want every person out there to have a little piece of the pie for our voice for this country. Seriously, the grift never stops with the GOP. Lindell even has plans to host an event in August detailing a new way to hold elections. So on top of the fact that Lindell is facing a $1.3 billion defamation suit from Dominion over his lies about the 2020 election, as well as my pillow losing business because of said wild claims, Lindell decided that he's just gonna double down by hosting an election summit. Lindell believes that his upcoming event, along with the evidence that he submitted to Dominion and Smartmatic in his cases, will lead to a cinematic ending like in My Cousin Vinny. What? Seriously, Mike Lindell thinks he has a chance to win his case against these two Utes. To what? What? Did you say Utes? Yeah, two Utes. Well, that's all from me today. If you want to support me as an independent creator and my other content, make sure to join my community at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That? <laughs> <laughs>